Several years ago, the starting age for colon cancer screening was lowered from 50 to 45 to address a rise in cancer among those under 55. Well, in today's Well Ahead report, we look at the screening options. For decades, Andrew O'Donnell has taken care of others as a nurse and EMT. At 48, he learned it was time to take action against colorectal cancer. I saw something on Mainline Health's website about how they were changing the age from 50 to 50. Uh, 45. Mainline Health colorectal surgeon Philip Pearson says cancer in Andrew's age group has doubled since 1995 and cases are more advanced. Do you have any family history of colon cancer? Andrew doesn't, but Dr. Pearson says anyone who does needs a colonoscopy before age 45. Symptoms like bleeding, sudden weight loss, a change in bowel habits, and unexplained abdominal pain can call for a colonoscopy. The test detects and removes polyps, tiny growths in the colon which may be cancerous. Dr. Pearson says it does triple duty. Goes from screening to therapy to prevention in 30 seconds. And that doesn't happen with any other screening test. The earlier you catch it, the more likely you are to live a nice, long, healthy life. The use of at-home tests boomed during the pandemic when hospital procedures were limited. Dr. Pearson says they're important. It does look for genetic evidence that a polyp or a cancer is living in your colon, and it also looks for evidence of blood in your colon. But one drawback is that there are unrelated reasons for a little blood in the colon. And if the test comes back positive, patients need a colonoscopy for follow-up. Andrew says the colonoscopy prep was annoying, but not bad. He enlisted the family. And my kids, every 15, 20 minutes, were bringing me a new cup of Gatorade with Miralax in it. He'll be screened again in five years because Dr. Pearson removed a benign polyp. It's a 10-year interval if the test is clear, but Andrew doesn't mind. Shouldn't even be a question. So that way you can be there for your family. And Sarah and Alicia, it's important to note that even though health insurance pays for it, less than 40% of those under the age of 55 actually get screened. So it's really important to take these measures proactively. Yeah. Very important. Preventative medicine, absolutely. Kristen.